Hello, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the writing settings page. So we're starting here on the dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and have, hover over settings and select writing. Now I'm going to admit that a couple of these things will not quite make sense yet until you talk, we use, uh, watch some other videos. Uh, mainly the uh, categories video, uh, the links video, and um, the uh, post video. But we'll cover these things here. You and afterwards, when you watch those videos, you might want to come back and rewatch this one. So there are just a couple of things here you need to pay attention to, and a couple of things that you don't because we don't necessarily support them. So uh, let me just go through these one at a time. Uh, the first two options here, labeled under formatting, are convert emoticons and WordPress should correctly invalid correct invalidly nested XHTML automatically. Okay. One's easy, one's a little more complicated. The first one, com uh, convert emoticons, is basically uh, WordPress has the ability to turn things like colon, hyphen, uh, right parens, and colon, hyphen, capital P into uh, graphical, in this case, smiley face and uh, sticking your tongue out at somebody. Uh, this is on by default. If you don't want those converted, you can go ahead and uncheck this. Uh, if you don't use them or you'd like little uh, graphical smiley faces instead of uh, text, you can go ahead and leave this alone. The other one is uh, about uh, correcting code, basically. That's the simplest way to put it. Uh, I would just completely leave this one alone. Uh, I, uh, Even though I know code and I use code on a regular basis, I generally leave this unchecked. Um, if you do have a staff member who ends up writing a lot of code by, uh, by hand uh, you, and they encounter some problems, this is something you can come back and check which might uh, fix some problems. But chances are you'll, you'll never need to touch this one. The next one is default post category, and as you can see here, the only choice is uncategorized. Uh, in a separate video, we'll cover how to set up post categories and what they do, um, but uh, categories can be very useful in organizing your content on your blog. And so you do want to set a default category once you've set up some categories. This is where you can do that, but since we haven't set up any categories yet, the only option here is uncategorized. Um, default post format is a little more complicated and something that we will touch on more in the post format and uh, also in the themes uh, video, uh, which uh, has some relevancy here. In this case, the options you have available are based on the theme you're using. So th there's a bit of a puzzle here. Um, right now we're just looking at the default options because these are the options that come with the default theme. If you choose your theme, your choices here may change. Now in most cases you're just going to want to leave this as standard and for now if you're just first watching these videos, uh, leaving this as standard is what you're going to want to do. Um, post formats otherwise can get a little complicated and like I said we'll talk about those a little more in the posts video. And then default link category, in this case we don't have any. Uh, there is a separate video dealing with links, which you will find over here on the left menu, uh, links. And uh, chances are this is another one that you're not going to want to touch. Uh, most people keep their link lists very simple and don't categorize them. Uh, but uh, when we talk about links in that video, you can uh, set up categories if you want and then come back here and change the default option for that if you want to. The next section is press this. Press this is a bookmarklet, something that you can add to your browser's bookmarks toolbar that allows you to, while you're visiting other sites, highlight some text, click this bookmarklet, and then uh, automatically copy the text that you highlighted in another web page into a new blog post for your website. Um, this is something where if you're could be very handy if you decide that you're going to post a lot of content from other sites. Um, but if you don't think you're going to do that, this is not something you would need to use. But just quickly to show you how this would work, I would go ahead and drag this up to my bookmarks toolbar and give it a sec here. You see you will now have a press this. So what I would do is if I was on another website, um, I found an interesting article I thought I'd like to share with my patrons. I could go ahead and highlight, say, the first paragraph of that article. Click now my new press this button up here in my bookmarks toolbar. And what that will automatically do is take me back to the, to the, web, to the dashboard for my WordPress blog, your library's website. Uh, that text that you highlighted will automatically be in the new posts field. And then you can continue on to write some additional text, give it a title, and then go ahead and publish it. 
The last section here, uh, or the next section here, excuse me, is post via email. This is not something we are supporting, so this is not something you need to worry yourself with, but uh, in general, the idea would be is that you could send in new content via email. Uh, like I said, not something we're supporting, so we're not gonna cover that in any more detail. Um, and then this last bit is update services. This is something that's built into WordPress itself um, to uh, possibly allow people to know that new content has been posted to your blog. It's not something we're using all that much. You can go ahead and just leave this field alone also, and it shouldn't affect anything on your website. And then as always with any of the settings pages and most any other page in your WordPress dashboard, there's a save changes button down here at the bottom if you have changed anything. So if you had uh, changed any of these options up at the top, uh, then what you would need to do is go ahead and click that save changes when you're all done and it will say settings saved. If you didn't change anything, no need to press that. You can just go ahead and move on to the next thing you want to work on. Thanks for watching.